In this first unit, we're going to take a look at an overview of what project and portfolio management is. We're going to look at the different business objects, we're going to look at the roles, and we're also going to take a tour of each of the roles interfaces. So we'll look at the dashboard and we'll also look at the actual business object and the project file and the portfolio file from those specific roles perspective. The Heat Surface Management Project and Portfolio module is new in the release 16.1 of Heat Service Management. It provides for means now to track project, budget, schedule, and activities within Heat Service Management. This is really ideal for customers who currently are using something like Excel or Word to be able to track their projects. So this is available now within the Heat Service Management bundle and customers can put their projects into project files and have those, if needed, linked to things like change or problem records. The portfolios are simply a collection of projects which provides for a little bit of a rolled up summary view of the different projects, more from a program management perspective. So this set of modules is going to walk through the different roles and the workspaces. We're going to have an opportunity to take a tour within the product of the project and portfolio module. And then we'll look at some use cases of typical tasks that these individual roles may do within the product. With project and portfolio management, there are a few new workspaces and a few new roles for us to be aware of. First of all, we have a project manager role and we have a portfolio manager role. Each of these has access to its own dashboard as well as its own workspace where it has a set of records that it maintains, either projects or portfolios. There is also a project phase and a project calendar uh, workspace, which allows us to be able to identify individual phases within the projects. The portfolio manager also has access to that uh, calendaring system. So first, let's look at the role of the project manager. Of project and portfolio management, the project manager is the role who is going to be entering the day-to-day -day details of the projects themselves. They would likely be project managers and they have access to a dashboard that provides them with a view of their individual projects, color-coded status for the symbols and different symbols for the different project health. So you can see we can look at the health of the project. We can also look at project escalations. The risks and the issues are summarized for us. And there's also scheduling and budgeting progress bars that we can view. So at a glance, the project manager's dashboard provides an overall view of the different projects that they're working on. In the project workspace itself, project manager can manage multiple projects across multiple portfolios. And here they can get an at a glance view of the progress as well as the budgetary consumption of the project and from here they can open the individual projects by double clicking on them. The individual project records provide us with the ability to track individual projects. Projects are broken into phases and those phases are broken into individual work tasks. So each project requires at least one phase and then within those phases the tasks break down the actual functions that have to be done. The scheduling can be viewed as milestones and it can be viewed as tasks and these can also be seen in a, a calendar format and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. There is a journal and a section for status updates. There's an area for attachments. For example, if there are regular weekly meetings and there are minutes from that, they can be attached to this. Any decisions that are made. Risks and issues. Risks are things that are potentially going to happen and issues are things that are happening right now. We can track both of those. Obviously with risk there needs to be a mitigation and we'll take a look a little bit deeper into this and see what the factors are that we collect within the risk and the issue tabs. And the project records can also be linked to other records such as change. You can see that there's a tab here for project change. This will create a change and link it to this project. You can also using the green plus symbol, go out and find the change tab, find an existing change, and be able to link to this record as well. You can also link to incident, to problem. These type of records can now be linked also to this project. 
So project management also has access to this calendar view. And this calendar view gives a color-coded look at the different projects that this individual project manager is responsible for. You can see it shows the different phases. So it provides an overall calendar view of the projects at a glance, and this can be viewed on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Now if we take a look at the Portfolio Manager, Portfolio Manager tracks a group of projects which are bundled into a portfolio. So portfolio is like a summary view of a bunch of projects. And of course a portfolio manager can have multiple portfolios which in turn contain multiple projects. So this would be more like a program manager who oversees a number of different projects that are going on and they need a way of having a summarized view of those. And if they can organize them into portfolios, they can use the portfolio from a budgetary perspective and have it all roll up into one master budget. The scheduling and the budgeting programs can be seen as an overall view here in the portfolio management dashboard. There's also the same color-coded health view. There is the concept of roll-up budgeting, and we will have a separate module on budgeting, but you are able to leverage the IT financial management part of heat service management as well and create budgeting that can all roll up here. The individual project and the overall portfolio risk and issue tracking can also be done. So there will be a roll up of the issues and risks related to the individual projects within the portfolio, but you can also create portfolio level risks and portfolio level issues. There, there are specific symbols and we'll take a look at those a little bit later on and the budget consumption tracking. So obviously we can consume against specific budgets and that get that when we get into actually creating a project and understanding how a project and a portfolio link together. So here if we take a look at the portfolio workspace, we can see that portfolio managers can manage multiple portfolios. And here again, we just get an at a glance view of the different potential portfolios that they could be managing the individual projects within those, we can open up a portfolio and see what details can be recorded in that. Now if we take a look at the portfolio record itself, we can see that it has its own start and end date. So a portfolio may be something that spans a year, whereas the individual projects may span shorter periods of time within that. And of course the projects can have overlap. There's no Obviously there are multiple projects that can be tracked here. The reason you want to have portfolios is to have multiple projects rolled up into one spot. And the roll up is going to be of the risks, the issues, as well of the budgeting. Okay, now that we've had a little bit of an overview of what project and portfolio management is all about, we're going to have a quick little quiz just to see if we remember some of those things.